Nike times Meg the Stallion. How about it? What is up and welcome back to the channel. So we have an exciting video today. We are talking Meg the Stallion times Nike. I'm sure we already know who Meg the Stallion is. She's a singer songwriter from Houston, Texas, and she's really blown up over the past few years. She's been collaborating with Nike on their fitness app, doing workouts for quite some time now, always styling and repping the Nike so well. So they actually came out with not her own line, per se, but they do have a section on Nike's website where you can shop her looks. These are just her staple favorites that she loves to work out in. When I was browsing, this red set just caught my eye. There's a shimmer to it. It totally stood out to me and I was like, I have got to try it. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Nike's summer sale is going on right now. So this is perfect timing. Actually, I don't think any of these pieces are on the sale. <laughs> <laughs> but I will have the sale link down below because there's some massive sales going on on the Nike website right now. It does last to the 18th, so if you're looking to snag some really good quality pieces, now is the time. Guys, this video today is brought to you by Therabody. I'm sure most of you have heard of Therabody, but in case you haven't, they are the original creators of what we know as the massage gun. So if you are unfamiliar with massage guns, it's basically percussion therapy, which raises your skin and muscle temperature. It makes muscles more relaxed and elastic and it reduces inflammation, improves range of motion, and is really good for recovery. So what I'm gonna be sharing with you today is their Theragun Elite. I know that I've recently adopted yoga and running. My shins have never been so sore in my life. I don't think I've ever made my shins sore before, but now they are. I've been using this baby right on the muscle. What I love about it is the triangular design. What this helps with is even weight distribution. Whereas most traditional massage guns or it's really hard awkward angles to hit and your arm gets very tired this I do not get tired with when holding it comes with five unique head attachments and unlike others they actually use a firm foam head rather than a hard plastic piece that could really hurt so starting on 1750 we're gonna go all the way up to 2400 which is the highest rpm they've done their research and that is the ideal range I do feel like if you're somebody who could really benefit from a massage gun, if you're a super active person, if you're an athlete of any kind, between the overall quality of the design and the features on the app that comes with it, it's definitely worth looking into. Keep in mind, they do offer a wide variety of products. You don't have to go with the Elite. There's also more affordable, smaller guns that they also carry. So I will have them linked below. And if you'd like to give them a try, let me know what you think. Starting with the first set, the one I was most excited for, we're looking at the Nike Dry Fit One Shine Leggings with the Nike Swoosh Dry Fit Sports Bra. So first impression, I'm feeling that Halloween kind of feel where it's a little bit plasticky. I can't stop looking at how pretty this shine is. It's not overly shiny, like it's this crazy sparkly thing. But there's a shine to it, if you look closely, just an iridescent look. Inside the bra, it's all mesh, and you have the bra pads that come out from the top rather than the sides. We got one full bra pad strip here. Kind of a shame, because I love the idea of this, but I'm also like not surprised. <laughs> I kind of expected this. Couple things. Number one, even with undies, I'm getting a massive dreaded CT going on here. I just don't know why the front seam is still a thing. Haven't we all learned our lesson by now? Number two, this Halloween costume type of material is causing a lot of wrinkle. It's moving. The wrinkles are just kind of doing their own thing here. Number three, they're not as stretchy as I was hoping for. Like there's a little bit of tightness going on, like saran wrap feel. Speaking of saran wrap, I feel like this isn't gonna be the best in terms of breathability. Honestly guys, at this point in my life, I did this to myself. I should know by now. I've tried their leggings on in the past and they never quite did it for me. I love their sneakers, even some of their sports bras, hell yeah. But their leggings are just not for me. I just, I feel like if I were to just make this a onesie and add some long sleeves on, I'd be Britney Spears from Oops I Did It Again. I actually don't know if I love this whole onesie bra pad that they got going on here. I feel like it makes it a little tough to adjust it to my girls. I feel like it's just the one size fits all and now it's kind of hanging down awkwardly as one piece instead of me being able to just take them and just spread them apart how I like. 
In terms of comfort, super comfortable sports bra. In fact, I think it's really cute. I think the breathable mesh and the extreme carpet padding they have on the band here makes it really a nice, a really nice sit on the rib cage. This sports bra is supportive enough for me to run in. I do think I could get away with weight training, doing a whole lot in this. The leggings, I really can't do a whole lot in. Even this mid-rise band comes up pretty high, but I, I, it just keeps like rolling and cinching in in certain areas. It's just, it doesn't lay flat like I like, but it is 100% squat proof. So whether you want to squat in these or just get down low like Megan Thee Stallion, you are good to go. These are 100% squat proof. So next up, I actually did a mix and match. We're looking at the Nike Dry Fit Alpha Sports Bra. Nike Dry Fit Run Division Epic Lux. Okay, yeah, I would have effed that up. You got that reflective, I believe this glows in the dark. Should we try it? I think we're gonna try it today. It's not happening. <laughs> I don't think it's happening here. I never had to work so hard for a pair of leggings. This is insane. Oh my God. This was the big ol', blah, big ol', what the fuck? This was an insane process to get these leggings on. <laughs> I don't feel very good. I'm getting lightheaded. <laughs> very well, one of the most uncomfortable leggings I've ever worn in my whole life. <laughs> I think maybe these could stand a chance if I sized up, but the fact that there's so many seams, especially if I'm trying to run in these, as I'm moving, all I'm gonna feel is the friction of the seams just rubbing all around my leggies. Now on the side, it does say that this fits tight just for an overall body fit. I get it, running leggings. I just feel like these seams completely ruin it. You have it right across the knee, all around the joint area. That's the one place you don't wanna put seams when they're running leggings because it'll literally ruin your movements. I guess it's cool because you have a lot of pockets. <laughs> now granted, running leggings, you need the higher compression. I love highly compressive leggings when I'm running. It just helps to hold me in. So my legs aren't jiggling and then you start getting that real itchy feeling on the legs. But number one, like I couldn't get it past my hips. So sizing up might be an issue because then you lose some of the compression. These were $110 leggings. Now this could be just not for my body type whatsoever. So believe me, like I'm not ruling that out. Perhaps this is for a specific body type that's just not mine. But $110, I am gonna stick with my Gymshark speed. Sorry. Okay, we're about to go do the glow in the dark test. Let's see what we got in a nice dark bathroom, and uh, I see nothing at all. Okay, where's my glow in the dark leggings? For crying out loud. Sports bra on the other hand, two thumbs up. I love this support. My girls, oh, they're so well behaved in this. I actually love the fact that the bra pads are sewn right in, so nothing's shifting around. Love that thick strappy action going on. Yeah, this is the supportive bra that I'm gonna grab when I am going for my jogs, my runs, my hit movements, working out with Sean T, lots of jump squats. Because believe me, I tried to work out my Gymshark minimal bra doing insanity and my girls were like in pain after five minutes. So I was like, all right, Ash, enough of the low support. You need your high support sports bras for once in your life. I think the design is sleek. I mean, there's nothing to it. You, you got that front open zipper, so it's really easy to get on and off. You also have that built-in clasp, so just in case this unzips if you're doing some crazy shit and this just ends up making its way down, at least you have a little clasp just to protect you. Totally true to size. I wouldn't size up or down. I would probably say if I was in between, I would size down because I wouldn't want this to be too big because then that defeats the purpose of a high sport sports bra. At least you have adjustments on the back, so you can adjust it, make it a little looser. A very well-constructed high support sports bra, if I do so say myself. We're looking at the Nike Swoosh long line printed sports bra and the Nike Dry Fit One Lux. Is that right? So very similar to the shiny one that you just saw. Same type of texture, same feel, kind of Halloween costumey. I saw the pattern and I was so confused. At first I thought it was the Lululemon logo. I was like, did this just, did I order the wrong thing here? Then I looked closely and I realized that the Nike swooshes, the check marks, are actually designed in a way where they're facing each other looking like a heart. So it's an all over print. It's like matte and shine. So you won't even notice it from far away, but up close it's, it's there. I'm officially not a fan of the, the onesie bra pad thing going on right here. 
it's just making its way out and I don't know what it's trying to do, but it's trying to embarrass me on camera. Guys, honestly, if you do get this bra, this is overall a nice bra. I do think you could get away with taking these out permanently if you'd like, putting your own inserts in, because keep in mind, you do have a mesh liner in here. So you got, it's a double line. So you could just throw your own whatever in here, but this is just a little over the top. In fact, I don't even think I need bra pads right now. This is, this is okay for me. I'm loving this set so much more than the first one. That, that bright red, not for me. This one is so much more doable. In fact, I feel like this is such a cute fall set. It feels similar to the other one. In fact, these were a little bit tighter to get on than the real bright red. However, because it's tighter, I'm not seeing as much bunching and awkwardness going on. Definitely a smoother look. Camel toe's actually not that bad either on this one, which is surprising since it's tighter. You still have a pocket band, but it's actually in the front rather than the back, which is cool, a little more accessible. I actually really like the sports bra a lot better too. It's a bit more comfortable, a little more flattering. I think the back design is so much nicer than just that boring, just single straps, just very straightforward. This has a little more sophistication to it, a little higher neckline. This is for sure the most comfortable set of them all. Squatting in it, I'm not feeling that tight restriction or anything like that. Are you ready for some buttes? The Nike Air Bellas. We got gold and silver going on here. Whoa. I didn't realize how shiny the plastic gold and silver were. I just thought it was kind of just a, a design and I was eh about it. Getting it in, it's stunning. I gotta admit, I've been working on my shoe game, trying to add to my collection, and this is about the fifth pair of Nikes that I bought in the span of this month. Somebody stop me. I actually just bought the Fly Ease. Oh God, don't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, I got one of the Fly Ease. I'll chat about this on Instagram stories or maybe add it into a favorites video because these are worth talking about. They're crazy. I gotta say, Nike is so consistent with their sizing. Their sneakers, I'm a size six religiously in everything and they they never fail in that department. I really love the bubbly logo on the front. I think that's really unique, adds a little bit of character to the shoe. If you look closely, it's not just a plain white surface. You actually have a little bit of movement, like a checkered look. It's almost a white stitching on it. So every single detail here is so super unique. You got the classic Air Max look right on the side here, right on the heel, just to add that little extra support when you press down. That's where I need it the most. I need my heels and my arch to be okay because that's where I will feel it at the end of a long walk. The little strip of black right on the back here is cool because it matches the logo. When jogging in place, I could really feel that grab right on the floor here. So I really do think this could be the perfect running shoe. All right guys, so what are our thoughts on Meg Thee Stallion's Nike favorites? So what are some of your favorites from my favorites, from her favorites? Comment down below. This is a super fun video to film. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video.